Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. This month's been interesting. Between Prowler and Spider Punk, my normal strategy for rank ups has changed. You can see, I, if you want to watch the whole rank up and gameplay video, it's on my channel now. Um, I want to be able to say that my strategy of taking six stars to rank five is still the best, and when the six stars are the best, especially when there are new champions like Bullseye and. Uh, Onslaught, whoo, it gets pretty good. Even like the Serpent and the Destroyer, solid champs to rank up. But when you got champs like Spider Punk and Prowler that are kind of complicated, seemingly, and a little bit more niche, you get them and you kind of just keep them. Because if it's not the best of the best, there's so many good champions now on especially Valiant rosters that you end up just feeling like you don't have a spot for them. And I'm going to show you in this video my Battlegrounds deck that continues to be um, challenged well by people who are just much better at the game than I do, including other Valiant players. But this is my, uh, my champion deck. So if I'm going to bring in Spider Punk, for example, into this deck, I'm going to have to kick out one of these great champs. And even in this deck, I don't have my rank 3 uh, awakened 7-star gore. I've got rank 3 Shuri and rank 3 Hulk, but not my third rank 3, because gore is not a better defender for me most of the time than somebody like Dust. Um, I might switch them out for Korg, but Korg, Korg is one of those defenders now that so many Valiant players have options for, especially Domino or Bishop or Sunspot. So Korg might be the champ that I, I take out of this for somebody else. And who knows, maybe I should remove Korg and go with uh, go with Gore again and just see what happens. I, I go back and forth. But the reason why I'm showing you this is that now with my rank ups, it's going to be very difficult to justify bringing a rank 5 6 star into Battlegrounds to knock out one of these champs. And so because of that, I am becoming more and more selective about which 6 stars I rank up, even though I'm still getting the new 6 star every two weeks, because that saves me not only from hunting them, but also from opening featured 6 star crystals, which over the course of several crystals gives me a lot more seven star shards so i went into this month thinking maybe i'll take spider punk to rank five but i do not think that anymore in fact um the future of the game is just continuing to develop the six and seven star champions that you're most confident with and that you already use the most and so in that case domino continues to be who i build upon now, besides the one tier four alpha, which I will be able to use on her once I explore 8.4, it's my big motivator right now. I need two more tier six mutant catalysts and five more tier six basic and tier three alpha. So here's what I'm going to do. And it's the reason why I'm recording this video. Now, I'm just going to go from left to right. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the uh, go to glory store. And I'm going to do five tiers of purchasing for both tier six basic and tier three alpha. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Pretty good. In fact, when I look at my catalysts, I now have almost five tier six basic. And I actually have five tier three alpha. Not too bad. Next, I'm going to go to the uh, Battleground store. I am going to load up another 50, another of the max. And I hate that this doesn't uh, load fast for me now, so I ha it's faster to do that. But doing that, best deal for six star SIGs. And then I'm going to scroll down to this. 
and I'm going to buy all 15,000 worth and I'm going to keep selecting mute. And now this is where it gets kind of tricky. Should I go mutant or should I go with a different class? But I think just to because nothing is else is formed right now, I'm still just going to go mutant and just get it over with. What that allows me to do now is say, all right, 8.4 is going to be explored hopefully in the next week or so. And this gives me 5 out of 5 tier 6 mutant. Check. And now I'm 3 tier 3 alpha and almost about 3 tier 6 basic away and then the 1 tier 4. So when I think about 8.4 rewards, this is where it starts to get real exciting. Because when I think about doing the second half of 8.4, what gets me the most um, targeted, the most excited, is Domino. And this is going to be what helps out there. And then I've got seven of these. Basically, rank three six-star materials built in. Or, excuse me, rank three seven-star materials. I still say six-star out, out of habit. It's kind of embarrassing, but it's also years of information into my brain. So, with the benefits to seven stars too, if you get a seven star that you love, like I just commentated a video on uh, Tuesday where I was talking about the best seven star somebody's been excited about, Lady D. They just love their Lady D. I'm going to rank her up. Well, you just got to start saving up for those materials and targeting them. And it's faster to do six stars, but Kabam is going to continue to reward you with seven stars. And um, once you find a good one, yeah, new champions, shiny new champions like Prowler and Spider-Punk are fun, but Domino is proven, and I think Domino is only aging like a literal fine wine. So I'm going to keep using her, and I'm going to keep being thankful that you all continue to support this channel. Have a good one.